Hi. Today we're here to discuss the implementation of the Pixis medication system at the Manor in Morseville. My name is Stacy Plant and I am a charge nurse there. The agenda today is to discuss the issues with the manual medication distribution carts, one of which is medication errors, another is medication misuse, and lastly the increased facility costs to replace medications and fix medication errors. Then we'll talk about what I believe to be the solution, which is the PIXIS system. Then we'll talk about a budget for implementing the PIXIS system. Finally, we'll bring it all together in a conclusion and finish with questions and answers. The first issue with our current medication dispensing system is medication error. Since 1992, the Food and Drug Administration has received nearly 30,000 reports of medication errors. These are voluntary reports, so the number of actual medication errors that is thought to occur is much higher. There is no typical medication error, but health professionals, patients, and their families are all involved when a medication error is made. Medication misuse. About 6% or 100,000 of the nation's 1.9 million registered nurses abuse drugs. According to Madeline Nagel, the chairman of the American Nursing Association's Committee on Impaired Nursing Practice, but reliable statistics are difficult to obtain, Dr. Nagel said, adding that her figure, which is based on the number of nurses who have been disciplined for drug abuse, is probably low. Many nurses are never caught abusing drugs, and many nurses that are caught are just let go. Lastly, we want to talk about incurred facility costs. When a patient is admitted to a hospital due to a drug interaction or administration of an incorrect dosage, it is referred to as an adverse drug effect, or ADE. The average cost of an ADE when a patient is admitted to a hospital is between $1,900 and $2,600. The additional costs that hospitals endure over the course of a year can be upwards of $4 billion. Nursing facilities across the country endure annual costs of $7.6 billion due to ADEs and ambulatory costs of $76.6 billion. My solution to these problems is the PIXIS medication system. As can be seen in this first picture here, the PIXIS medication system has both a refrigerated unit and drawers in which non-refrigerated medications are kept. On top sits a computer in which the nurse can order drugs through the patient access system. A nurse goes in, they find the patient they're looking for, they go into the patient's MAR, which is the medication administration record, and then they choose the drug at which they want to administer. In the next pictures here we can see, although not the same PIXIS system, we can see that the drawers pop out of the PIXIS system. The only drawer that opens is the one that has the drug in which the nurse has ordered in it. Generally, there is a light on the front of the drawer that blinks, indicating to the nurse which drawer to open. Within the drawer, there are individual compartments. The only compartment that the nurse is able to open is the one containing the drug they have ordered. Again, a flashing light is generally found on that compartment. This prevents the nurse from grabbing the wrong drug, or the wrong dosage because oftentimes there are multiple dosages found within the cart. Once the nurse has removed the drug from the compartment, she then double checks it against the computer system. So if the computer system says two tablets, the nurse indicates that she has two tablets of the correct medication dosage. So as you can see, I believe the solution to our current problem is the PIXIS medication system for the following reasons. It alerts users to medication errors before they happen. It decreases costs for facilities by preventing medication errors, which prevents hospitalizations of patients to reverse these ADEs. It decreases the cost for the facilities in that it also prevents nurses misusing drugs. It also reduces missing doses in that the wrong drug is not grabbed by the nurse and therefore having to be discarded, which again comes back around to increasing facility costs because when a psychomed, which means a medication that a 
resident takes every day for a month runs short before the pharmacy restocks in that month on the regular cart, then the medication is paid for by the nursing home. Therefore, with the Pixis system, the nurse is unable to grab the wrong medication, preventing the facility from having to reimburse the cost of a misused or missing dose of a medication. The budget for implementing the medication system I'm looking at at the Manor in Morseville is about $114,500. $60,000 of this is for the implementation of the five Pixis medication systems to replace our current medication cards. Another $10,000 goes towards hardware, which is the Pixis database, which has to be installed on each of the computers throughout the manor so that they can be remotely connected to the actual medication disbursement carts. $5,000 will be cost for wiring, surge protectors, and any other unforeseen costs in the electronics department. Approximately $30,000 will go towards the salary of a project manager. The project manager will be the one in charge of ordering the Pixis system, meeting with the Pixis sales representative, meeting with the Pixis trainer, and being responsible for keeping updated on the Pixis system and any changes that are made within the Pixis system. Another $2,500 will be allotted to a Pixis trainer. This will be one of the charge nurses at the manor who will be responsible for training staff after the initial staff training. This means any new hires, they will also be responsible for helping the project manager train staff on updates or changes to the Pixis system. The initial staff training will cost approximately $7,000. This brings us to our total of $114,500 for a budget for implementation of the Pixis medication disbursement system. So in conclusion, it can be seen that I find the Pixis medication cart system and it can be proven that the Pixis medication cart system is safer, more cost efficient, and easier to track medications on. Are there any questions at this time?